All right. Good evening once again, everyone. Welcome to the live show. Okay, so quickly we'll be looking at some trades. Um, some of the trades I shared earlier are still running. I will see how that will favor us. But before then, guys, Hamster Combat just actually published, okay? Uh, this is the roadmap for season two, right? Starting from October, okay? Uh, you know, they want to incorporate more games. They want to incorporate payment. Uh, what did they say? Integrate um, an external uh, payment system for unwrap, okay? Right into the game. And then, you know, they want to launch a lot of things and all of that. Okay. I don't know who, who, who is with hamster combat on this? Who is with hamster combat on this? Anyway, guys, um, for the team, if the, the way I'm mana, okay, the way I'm mana, they can actually, uh, make the hamster combat token trades at a very nice price in order to let people make money. At least people should make. You know, let's say minimum of 500, you know, those who got an average of, let's say, a thousand or thereabout and all of that. Okay. If you make this thing, um, the price, if there is any way they can push the price and all of that and make people earn money from it, I believe all this grammar they are speaking here for the season two, they won't need to do much advert. Okay. They won't need to actually, you know, stress themselves too much. People will just, you know, start playing hamster combat as if maybe this is the only go-to. Okay. So anybody that knows hamster combat should talk to them. This is their season two roadmap and the rest, whatever they are planning here. If the price tomorrow, once they get listed, if it fails to give people money, people will just dump this thing. Okay. You don't need to, to tell them they will just dump this thing. So if they really mean business, the way I'm manner, they want to, make the price of answer combat trade even if it is for 50 cent okay even if it has to shoot up to 50 cent or thereabout or even get to a dollar before he done whatever the way i'm they want to do that i don't know but if the price actually appreciates tomorrow and people make money from their airdrop those who got 300 those who got you know uh 400 500 1000 if they can go home with reasonable amount of money even if it is a minimum of hundred dollars all right uh, maybe you got like 300 and all of that and you're able to turn that into a hundred dollars. So it's to automate. This is automatic marketing. Okay. This is automatic, uh, you know, uh, publicity for them. A lot of people, this season two, they don't need to do much work and people will just jump into this season two with full force. Okay. That's basically my take on that. But if not, if the price doesn't appreciate guys, whatever it gives you, Tomorrow I'll be doing a live section with you all um, during the, the time of the trading. So we'll see how it goes. And by the way, okay, uh, I know a lot of you didn't receive up to 2,000 Amstar Kumba token. You can actually get that right now on Bybit. And as you can see the countdown, okay, you have um, around um, 29 hours, okay, from now to, to do this. Uh, if you're in Nigeria and it doesn't take time to get your account verified, you just create a Bybit account, put in your BVN, okay, and then just do the selfie and that is all your account is verified. Make a deposit, allow the deposit until you receive it. Okay. The tax is to complete the deposit. And tomorrow for all of you who have signed up already, I'll tell you when to buy, when to sell. Basically, even if it is a dollar, two or three, we make from this, that, that would have completed the trade tax. Okay. The trading tax and all of that. Everything is done on spot. Okay. And then you can await the 2000 token that Bybit will be giving to you. So once they give you this 2000 token, if you flip it for a hundred dollar for 200 or whatever it is, okay, it is fully yours and you can start enjoying, you know, the money that they are giving to you. Okay. So take advantage of it. Go, uh, use the link. Uh, the link will be in the, I've been posting it, all right? I've been posting it on Telegram. So go check the last post aside the signal or, and all of that and, uh, you know, start taking advantage of this right now, okay? Yeah, that is my take on hamster combat. So if you do not get anything, even those of you who got something, okay, make sure that you go actually take advantage of this. And the beautiful aspect of this is that those who registered today for the 2000 hamster combat token equally got uh, they buy bid $500 position airdrop. They have already opened short position on BTC. Those two actually reached out to me. I asked them to open short position on BTC. I think that trade should be going for them right now. Okay. And, um, those who did their deposit in the buy bid P2P, they got some cash back. Okay. 
I think somebody told me he got around uh, five dollars cash bag or so, and all of that. So if you do your deposit via the Bible P2P, you get you know the reward for that. You equally get you know the five hundred dollars uh, position draw, and you will equally qualify for the two thousand hamster to come. The Bible is giving out. Okay, so the choice is yours. Go register for this and take advantage of it right now. With that being said, guys, let's look at the market, see the trades we will take. Let me know what you are currently holding. Um, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at shorting it, you know, down to that area of around 450, okay? Uh, 2450 or so. That's basically what I'm looking at for Ethereum and uh, all of that. So I'm just waiting to see if I can get the pullback. Um, yeah, waiting to see if I can get the pull. Let me do the 15 minutes time frame and see what we can actually get from this. So for Ethereum, if I get a pullback to that previous day low and then rejection, that could actually be a good, a good area to start entering a short trade. Let me use my Fibonacci tool to measure. Okay, sorry, I got disconnected there. So my Fibonacci two, let's see what we can achieve from here. Yeah, this is basically what I'm looking at for, okay? Um, yeah, so from that high to this low right here, this is what I'm looking at for. So if we pull back to that area of six, uh, two, 600, okay? I'll be looking to take a short trade and then I'll add to my position using the buy bit scale order, okay? And then add another one here and my stop loss will be just above that area, okay? So the red line is your stop loss. These three white are your entering levels, okay? Use the buy bit scale order you have, entering one, entering two, entering three, stop loss there, and then TP around this area, okay? That's basically what I'll be looking at for this thing, uh, for, for it. And let's see, you know, if this will play out nicely. Okay, let's see how this thing plays out. Take a short trade from that area and uh, we'll see how it can go. Okay, um, what else, what else, what else? Let me know, guys. I have um, some trades that are running already, so I'm not actually going to enter into many trades right now, okay? It is um, night already because I want to put stop losses in the ones that I'm running already and all of that. So let me know whatever token you want me to look at, whatever trades you're looking at, okay? I'll go ahead and look at it for you. Uh, but why that? Let's look at Solana and see what we can. Um, Sol USDT. Okay, so still on the 15 minutes. Let me look at. We looked at Solana yesterday, right? In fact, Solana has been on. <laughs> look at what I was looking at. Was it yesterday or do? about this is what I I was talking about. Um, yeah, I think it was yesterday. I wait for Solana, the breakout, okay? If you took that trade, this candle, this is the one hour candle, right? This is the one hour candle, this we pushed and then we started going up there again. Let's say you took a trade from the next candle and then right that trend there, you would have been up by over 3% before the market, you know, started pushing back down and the rest, okay? But if you get an opportunity, remember this is my 318, right? Uh, 382 level using the Fibonacci uh, replacement, uh, re yeah, using the Fibonacci 2, okay? So if the market returns back to that level again, that could be another opportunity to start looking for long, all right? If Solana returns back to that area of 140 or thereabout, that could be a good area to start looking for long and all of that, guys, okay? So if BTC returns to 60K, even 58K and all of that, anywhere around that level, you should start looking for buys um, because next week we are entering into the ne next month, right? Next week we are already in October, I guess. Mm -hmm. Today is what? Today is already, yes. By next week uh, by next week or so, um, we, we're already in October. So be looking for more of long trades. I believe a lot of breaks out will happen in the market um, going forward, okay? A lot of breakouts from all these resistance support level that we're currently seeing will be happening in the market. So get ready for that, guys. WLD did nice today, did great today. It was just pumping and pumping. 
and some other tokens, okay? So take advantage of all of these things. Yeah, what token do you want me to look at? Let me know, let me know, let me know on the Hello. chat. Hello, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Alhamdulillah, I'm Muhammad, and I want to appreciate all you have been doing in the group and the people in general. Thank we you so much, too. Lisa. Thank you. I'm pleading if you can check Zeta USDT for me, please, sir. All right. So let's check Zeta or Zeta. Uh, okay. So let me see what we have here. Okay, so uh, if you look at this token, okay, most especially on the daily time frame, guys, if you look at all these tokens, most especially on the daily time frame, right, it is at one resistance level or the other, okay? Uh, and then this particular one, too, is not an exception. So this particular one, too, is not an exception. So it is at one, you know, resistance level or the other. We can even take this down this way, right? one particular resistance level or the other so what i'll basically be looking for if you're looking for a buy okay if i use the fibonacci to let me just take it from this week up there okay change this to my golden level yeah basically what you'll be looking for is a pullback right basically what you'll be looking for if you're looking to buy because Eventually, if we break out of this area here, this thing will continue to go up, right? If we eventually break out of this area, this, um, you know, resistance right here, it will continue to go up. So you wait for a pullback. This is my golden level, which is around that level of uh, 0 0.5, okay? Uh, 0 0.5 dollars and all of that. So if you come back that to that area, it should be buying. But if I go to the four hours time frame, okay? Uh, contrary to what I, I saw on the one hour on the daily time frame, I can equally take my Fibonacci too from this move. This is the recent move we had, uh, for this trade. Okay. So if you want to make that judgment from the four hours, you take it from there and, um, up there. Okay. So you see that we came back to that uh, golden level, this particular move we had here. Okay. We came back to that golden level and then we we'll bounced up. This is on the four hours time frame. So we can just take out this, but just take note of that daily time frame zone. Okay. So we came, okay. went up there, came back, bounced, and then I'll be looking if this thing comes back down to that area again. If it comes back to this other block right here. Okay. You should be looking to, you know, buy from that level. Okay, with your stop loss, let me say you look for long around, you know, any of this level. For me, I'll be using like the buy bit scale order for this. Do like a 10% stop loss. Okay, and, sir. Um, maybe 8% would do. And then you target that previous high there again. So, yeah, that's basically what I'll be looking at for this trade. So, wait for it to come back down there. You take a trade up and you're good. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Welcome. All right, guys, ask your questions, okay? Ask your questions. Some of you, uh, you know, the reason why we do this live every day, every uh, very often is, you know, you come in here, you ask your questions, I explain. If you don't understand, okay, you say, oh, I don't understand that. We explain some other persons there who may understand better than me can equally contribute to help you on that, okay? But when you come to my DM always, it is, in fact, it gets tiring when I see a whole lot of, a whole lot of messages on my DM. But that's why I make the group open, right? That's why the Telegram group is open because I want you to freely interact there with some other person, just like, you know, a lot of guys have been doing there. You ask questions, but some of them are there to scam you, right? Anybody, anything you ask on the group and eventually the person goes to your DM and from DM they start, you know, lobbying you to give them money to trade for you or do one investment or the other place. Just know that it is going beyond, uh, you know, just ordinary help. Okay, once they start giving them money, they will just tap scam you and run away. So be careful, right? Be careful when you deal with some of these human beings on the DM. Telegram is, is something else. Once somebody block you, they can delete. You know, on Telegram, the person can delete your conversation and delete even for you too. 
And once they do that, they will block you and there is no way you can find the person, right? There's no way you can find the person. So be careful when you are dealing with people on the DM and don't lose your money, okay? All right, so with that being said, um, what else, what else, what else, what else? That w, WLD, okay? For those of you who have been buying WLD, well, you know, remember we talked about WLD when it went down to, I think, a dollar or something? I can't remember. Uh, let me look at the daily time frame and see where WLD was. Yeah, so we went down to around a $1.2 level. So if you if you bought WLD then you should have been up, okay? If you were smart enough to buy WLD around this area by now, um you should have been up by over sixty percent plus, okay? By over sixty percent plus. And I still see a whole lot of potentials for, for this token to the upside. Okay. I see a whole lot of potentials um for this token moving up to the um upside. Uh, if AI is okay, when it's time for you know the AI is to pump this one to follow suit. So even if you buy from current market price and you're looking at going up to that previous high there, that's over 600% move, okay? That's over 600% move if you are looking at that. So guys, take advantage of it, okay? Take advantage of this kind of opportunity and don't let it slide, all right? Take advantage of this kind of opportunity and don't let it slide. Some of you are waiting for me to come and make a list, right? I will then make a list, and then when I finish making the list, I'll come and publish it. They have published the list on the Telegram and tell you, or I'll come to your DM and tell you, go and buy this token, buy this one, buy this one. So what do I do? Every day we come on on live and all of that. I tell you, oh, this token is good for buy. This token is good for buy. You don't take advantage of that, but you want me to make a list and come and emphasize and reemphasize and tell you, oh, this you must buy this thing before you buy. Stay down, be wasting your time. When other people are paying to get, you know, those kind of information, some of you are looking for free. Everything you want it to come to you in a platter of gold. Even if I give it to you free, some of you are stingy and stingy to yourself that you cannot even take advantage of such things because it comes to you free. It's better you start paying so that we'll give you a list of tokens <laughs> that you can buy, right? We'll give you a list of tokens that you can buy. BMC, um, I think he was in charge of that, so he would always share those tokens. Because you know they have a, a bunch of them. If you have money, if you don't have money, it's not for you. <laughs> because if you see the list of tokens to buy, guys, if you don't have money, really, you even be confused. Which one should I start with? But if you have money to buy all of them, why not? You can just put even if it's one thousand dollars in all the trees, and you see it going in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, all right. This thing doesn't want to give up. Oh. It's just you know pushing back up again and all of that. So, um, what do you mean? Yeah, what are you guys looking at? Also, what do you say? Yeah, what, what are you trading this evening? Let me know. Oh, I didn't trade anything. That only one, one token that you drop. That's the only one I'm um, trading. Right now. Uh -huh. This is uh, STRT. I don't think you are seeing it. <laughs> At least, at least now you are still uh, you are still respecting that decision you made that you will not be trading any uh, yeah. Let yeah, me see how long that will last. I hope you will not. The main, the main, issue, the main <laughs> issue is that the main issue is that I'm little sick. I'm little bit sick. That's why I don't want to force myself, give myself higher attention. That's why I think maybe I just say too much. Okay. So okay. When the market comes to my position, then I will try to. Sorry, I'm not I'm yeah, that, that trade that you drop, I just enter, because... I enter that trade. I see that the trade has a high volatility because, like, even single if even single movement, if the market moves by small, then I will see like ah, okay, minus or plus. Mm. Very That's very high. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Before you know, this minute is in profit. The next minute is in losses and all yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, That's right. Okay, uh, let me see what WLD will give me here. Let's just observe and see what goes on. 
Okay, yeah, questions, um, contributions. Go ahead, guys. You have questions, ask, you have contributions to make. Go ahead. Um, by the way, have that come back. What are you guys expecting tomorrow? I'm thinking that tomorrow we may have some a little volatility in the market. So I am thinking maybe the market will go to my direction. Either it is high, uh, 65k or 66k, or back to 60k. Because tomorrow we have a news. And you see that we have a, this a launching of this hamster. Maybe I think it will like, will make a market. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see where it goes anyway. Tomorrow, I hope you'll be a chance uh, to join me. We'll be doing the hamster stuff live. I hope you'll be a chance to, to join me for that. So let's see how that tomorrow will go and um, see what we can achieve with that tomorrow, actually. Okay, so I'll be looking to, for now, with that small stop loss there, I'll be looking to take um, WLD from here up. I'm currently on the three minutes time frame, so let's see if this thing will play. Let me just set a limit order for that and see how, you know, how that will go, if we'll be able to trigger and take, um, you know, this one to three there and see how that goes. So... Yeah, I'm on WLD. Let me see how that will play out. And uh, it's the first time I observe this week. I don't know why, like, it is only me that I'm seeing or something like that. I see that the market is not moving like the way it will. What's that now? The market is not moving like the way it deserves to move. You know, there is there is two, there is no way, no product in the market. The market is. You know the the way the way some of these you know uh, market makers these big guys in the market. In fact, the way they have customized this market to be is to frustrate you, okay, make you get tired of it, and then when you are relaxed, that is when the market will start moving. <laughs> and then you say, "Oh, this crypto thing is a scam. I'm no longer doing and all of that." Is when it start moving, and when it start moving to the extent where it start attracting you again, whenever you come back. When you start getting excited, that is when these guys will not show. So you are not excited, right? Don't worry, we'll show yeah. you shaking. So <laughs> when you forget yourself, they will start wiping everything in the market and you'll be like, ah, what exactly am I doing wrong? So that's basically, okay, how the market is customized to what it are, the behavior in the market and the rest. What, and that is why I say, if, for instance, they are taking a signal, you don't have any business waiting for full TP. That's securing exactly. your profit from TP1. TP1, you've closed, even if it is 25% of the trade, close it, move stop loss. It's better you are always breaking even than always hitting stop loss or always getting liquidated. Yeah, exactly, sir. That's what I'm thinking. Like a lot of people who are taking signal, they will take the signal and they see that, like me, normally I can't even keep my eyes watching the market all the time. So when you take the signal and you see that you are improving, why don't you just secure some product, but people like they will just wait until you tell them, you tell them that or oh, move stop lot to entry or oh, take some passion. Ah, if you like saying now your money, never my money. If you lose it now, you lose it, no be me. But you, you can't even control your emotion when you see that you are in profit, you just take some profit from the market until you see that the market has taken the money that has given you. Exactly. Like, like some people enter, if you enter, like, like there is some, a lot of the, uh, beginners that they, they will enter a market with a uh, $50 and they see that the market is giving them almost $30 and they won't take profit. They are waiting for a full TV or they are waiting for a market to give them like two hours before they take passion or before they take profit. I'm thinking that what if the market go against you? Like you don't even know where I, like me that I drop the signal. I don't know either me, I will just see something that I supposed to take the, a, the profit before even the market a, like started pushing back. Before I inform you, maybe you, if you know what you are doing, you can even see before me. But a lot of people, they can even see that the market is reversing and they can't even take some more profit. They will just wait 
for the market to give them like a lot of money in just a single trade. It's not, it's not going like that now. Mm -hmm. you know, many people are not ready to learn seriously. Once they are ready, they will know. Once they are ready, we will know. Okay, guys, it's like this thing doesn't want to come to our entry, but let's let's help them and see. Let me see what one minute time frame is doing. Yeah, uh, it doesn't want to come to our entry, but I'll just patiently wait. If it doesn't come, I'll cancel the the the, the, the I'll cancel the the limit order I have. But I wish it will. I wish it will, and then bounce up immediately. And I just want to see one massive week down here, then one candle. OTP. Oh, <laughs> as I mean, is the way you think, <laughs> the way you think, you just imagine things to be that the market just react to. Okay, I'll just be here, and let's say in uh, less than thirty seconds, you will just see one massive sell candle. Okay, boom, take my uh, entry here, and then one massive buy candle goes up there, hit for TP, and then before it started coming, <laughs> before it starts to come down, and all of that. But anyway, guys, I have a limit order set for this already. Um, I'll wait to see. I have stop loss. Okay, stop loss is just, you know, 1%. So if he is and he stop loss, I'm fine with it. If he is and goes to full TP, I'm fine with it. So whatever it is, I'm good. All right. So that's basically what I'll be waiting for for WLD. Let me see if I will use this one to, you know, and then close one for. Thing that I wanted to give an advice to my fellow, fellow mates. Please and please learn how to how to control your risk management because there is a lot of people in this space. Like even even a small thing, they can't just go and learn it. Like small risk management. If you learn how how to how to manage your account, like if you learn how to do do risk management in every trade you enter, it will help you to grow your capital. But I don't know why most of the people in here they are just just entering the market in here. You have forty dollar, you enter market with thirty five dollar. What if the market go against you without even noticing that the market, this market will go like the way you want it to, it will go against you. If you enter one trade with the hard like 75% of your capital, if you lose that trade, that means you are going to, you're supposed to learn even risk management seriously because the market is not your friend. It will always go against you the way you don't want it to be. Exactly. Uh, and another thing is, it is not just about even entering with, with let's say, half or more more money or, uh, of your trading capital. It is when they do this thing, okay, they want to just make the whole money in one day. They will not use very high leverage. Okay? They will use very high leverage. And some of them will say, <laughs> okay, there is yeah, yeah, it's die it's one, one thing, one thing that, I, that I hear, like somebody just told me that she had like a around four hundred dollar in her account and then she entered the market with a two hundred and fifty dollar. She just risked like almost the whole money she had in like she said that this is the last card that she had in her life. And she entered the market with two hundred and fifty dollar in a single trade. She said that the market like a, the token has a around yeah sixteen points for in six leverage and then she used seven leverage. I said it doesn't matter like that. Even if you enter with like five liberates, you risk too much. This is the old money you have in your life. You don't have to even risk more than thirty dollar in that trade. But you lose you 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 you, you risk almost two hundred and fifty dollar. So even if the market did not go against you with this small liberates, you will lose more than one hundred dollar because the, the the stop loss is around one hundred and fifty 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 minus in with twenty uh, with, with ten liberates. But she used several leverage. So imagine if the market go against us, that means she is going to lose around almost two hundred dollar in just a single trade. I say mm. if you don't know how to learn, just like a, a digital learner is dropping a lot of videos and like how to manage your capital and some a lot of things. Just go and watch them and learn it. And she said that she is too busy, ah, she has a lot of things to do, she is at work. Ah, okay. I say no problem. This market will show you the way you're going to learn. Yeah, when the market teaches you a lesson. Yeah, if the market take all that money she have, then she will start thinking how to learn it just to return her money back. And that's the issue. Where that's where the problem is. That money that you lose, it's not easy for you if you don't have it like a good job. It's not easy for you to return back this almost seven hundred k, even in a two month. 
if if it is not like your father who your brother is going to give you and even if it is someone that is going to give you that money if you don't have the knowledge you're still going to lose it <laughs> yeah anybody any anyway those that their father has money they don't have time to trade you know trading is very hectic and all of that they don't have time to do all this thing. except for those who mean business who want to just do long term investment and invest Okay, so if your father is working with Tinibu, you just be packing the money and be going abroad and go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> now we were the struggle. When we make the money, now that we have not made the money, nobody is hearing about us. But once we make the money and start firing your Lamborghini, that is when EFCC will start looking for you. <laughs> okay, guys. So yeah. Anyways, I just trade it. Okay. The, the whole um, you know, the whole idea here is that. You cannot, the money you have is your money for your business. If you don't manage it very well, you will lose that money. Even if you have somewhere that is supplying you the money and all of that, okay? Don't just wake up and then you have a $100 trading capital and you want to just risk the whole money in one trade. Because, you know, um, at times, some of the regrets we have as traders is, let's say you enter a trade here and then we are projecting to make maybe like 3% if this market goes in our favor. And then eventually this market hits full TP. And you are like, hey, I wish I increased my margin. I only used $10 in this trade. I would have used $100. Now, because of the way you are thinking right now, the next trade you will take, you will not be thinking right. You will not think risk management. You just go ahead and say, no, this one should be able to hit my full TP. And then you enter with the whole of your capital. And will I say fortunately or unfortunately for you, that particular trade will not go as planned. And when it doesn't go as planned, just minus 5%, you'll be seeing the kind of big money from your account and you'll be restless. And there's one thing with when you see your, your, your trade in the negative. Let's say you raise $100 in a trade with a 10x leverage and already that trade is down by 20%. That is minus $20 already. Okay. What you'll be battling with is how can I lose $20? And then one mind will be telling you, that stupid mind that will always deceive you will come and tell you, don't worry, the market will come back down. What if you close this street and then the market comes back down and all of that? And you say, no, don't worry, it will come back down. It's going against you minus $30. You are still holding it to come back down. Minus $40, you are still thinking and hoping that the market will come back to your favor. You are just waiting for it to come back. In fact, you don't even need profit again this time around. You want it to come back to your entry and you close your trade. Minus 50% or $50, you are still holding. Until eventually you hear boom, boom, your account has been liquidated or whatever that English is when the liquidation comes. <laughs> you will just cry. Okay? So there is something about stop loss. The, the thing is, if you are going to trade, you must learn to, before, before you enter any trade, just like I told you, if this trade triggers, is it a hidden full tp or you go it goes to to tp let's say i put tp one year or tp two and all of that so it's both ways i've already made up my mind that if i put maybe 100 bucks in this and it goes against me i'm ready to raise maybe around two three dollars in this i'm i've made up my mind on that but once you enter a trade and you're saying no to come back definitely, definitely some trades are like that right when you enter the trade it goes up, immediately you close it, it comes back to your entry. Or it goes down, immediately you close it, it comes up to your entry and all of that. It happens like that. But you cannot say because it happened to trade one, it will happen to trade two. Or because it happened to trade A, it will happen to trade B. Every trade has its own. Every day, every minute has its own volatility. It has its own news. It has its own whatever that is worrying the market. Okay. This minute you and I are here talking. Nobody knows what is happening in the U.S., in the, you know, all of these tier one countries. They can just come up. Before the news get back to you, you'll be seeing the reaction in the market already. If, for instance, they say yeah, Donald Trump has won election and the market starts flying and all of that. Anyway, that one is public. You will even know. Okay. Let's say something about the U.S. economy that you don't even know. Before they publish the news, before you get it, the market is already reacting to that. So you should be prepared at every trade that this trade I'm entering, I'm going to enter as, my margin as $10, my margin as $100, my margin as $50. This is what I'm ready to risk in this trade. 
Okay, that is per margin. You can equally decide to enrich according to your capital. Let's say you have that one thousand dollars, and every trade you enter, you don't want to risk more than ten dollars. Okay, you can equally stick to that as well and see how it works. So, guys, if you have not learned anything today, you've learned risk management. Try to apply that to your account if you want to really survive in this space. Okay, and I've said earlier, if it is signals you are taking. Once you do not look, they, they look at the chart. Once you do not confirm that signal before taking it, and you must take the signal, please risk little amount of money. I've said it time with number. Learn to fall in love with a particular token or two or three token. Let's say you know BNB how it moves, you know Solana how it moves, you know Litecoin how it moves. Some of these tokens are not as volatile as a uh, pop card pop card that one candle it is up there and a lot of tokens like that are there okay i know when it goes in your favor it pays you a lot of money but what if it goes against you so fall in love with this token so that when somebody wakes you in the night and say oh we are trading solana today you say yes i know solana i know how it can move i know what i can risk in that in those kind of trades you can risk your entire account if you want but once it is a signal, because the signal comes randomly. Today is this token, today is that token, today is that token. We risking what you can afford to lose. Okay? So, I hope you learned something this evening, guys. All right? If there are questions, go ahead. But if not, we'll call it a day. Questions, contributions. Okay, this one is not moving as I expected it to. The market is so much slow, so... Ah, oh good. It's not moving the way I expected it to move anyways. Just going back and forth, back and forth. But I I just feel that this thing will go back up there before it comes back down. So it will cancel the trade. If we we'll call it a day here. For the for the stop loss. Yeah, do we have questions, contribution? Uh, yes, yes. For the stop loss, I think the stop loss it's a two way thing because Sometimes if your stop loss is too tight, like you don't want to risk much, maybe you go into the market with a hundred dollar capital and you, you set your stop loss at maybe two percent. So sometimes I feel if the stop loss is too tight, sometimes the market will hit your stop loss, then later return back to your your TP. So the stop loss, I think it has to do with a risk tolerance because it's not a one cap uh, fit all kind of rule from my own uh, little observation. So it has happened to me, it has happened to, I think, many traders too. Sometimes they will hit their stop loss before getting to the TP because the, the stop loss is too tight. They are not giving the, the trade the, the space to, to breathe. So yeah, in that yeah. Aspect, and, so and you... see, yeah, this thing equally depends on the token you are trading. Mm. Uh, my, network is not, my network is not stable, but it equally depends on the particular token you are trading. Okay, if it is like BTC or Ethereum and all of that, you know, you can stick to those one percent stop loss, two percent, two percent stop loss, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, but there yes, are tokens, yeah, yeah. there, there are tokens you will trade that you will just need to use tight stop loss. There are a lot of crypto tokens that are very volatile that you must use that tight stop loss. Okay, even if you ask, to, if in fact, I don't. I don't even advise anybody who is just starting in this space to just, just start trading random tokens, all right? But if it is BTC, if it is Solana, if it is Ethereum, if it is Litecoin, you know, this kind of, this major OGs them and the rest, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can do 5%, you can do 10%, and you're sure that maybe if something doesn't happen, that BTC yes, will not go like that. 10%, exactly. And then it will, you hold it and eventually it goes in your favor. But not with PopCard. If you try that with PopCard, you are out. And a whole lot of other tokens. Like I'm using PopCard as an example, but there are a whole lot of other tokens like that. Okay, there are a whole lot of other tokens like that. So it all depends on the uh, the crypto token you are trading. It all depends on the crypto token you are trading. Once again, I will reemphasize that. So you cannot apply the same. If I'm looking for a one to three on WLD, there is every probability that pop card will, may not give me that one to three or it may give me more than one to three okay so it all depends on the chart on the on the token and what you are seeing on the chart 
at that particular time. So please let's take note of that. So stop losses in crypto cannot be the same all through every pair. There are pairs that you must use tight stop loss. There are pairs that you will give your trade a space to breathe. Okay. And all of that. So if you are just starting out, if you have the time, guys, focus on scalping yes, and growing. Yes, what, 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 what some people are supposed to learn. There is some talking, it's not about putting a big stop loss. There are some talking, even when you put a big stop loss, the market will still come and hit and take you out and then start going in your direction. But if you like, if you put a tight stop loss, even if you lose that money, you will still have an opportunity to enter the trade, even if the market go down go down to where the position is supposed to uh, make another entry. But if you put a big a big stop loss, that means you are you are losing a lot of money. And then before you even started being in profit, the market is supposed to come back to your entry before you started making profit. But if you just leave the market and the market go back to like maybe entry, there is some some talking that you will have like a two order block. If this one break, then the second one is supposed to be an order block. So Maybe if the one break, then it will take you out. And the next one, maybe it will be your second uh, second entry. So that's why sometimes a lot of people used to uh, put a tight stop loss because it will make them, uh, you know, steal some money and then they will enter the market again. Mm, how do we now research those kind of tokens? From the signal you drop, uh, boss, talking to boss, and from the signal you, you drop, so you know all the tokens, the, the market cap, the volatility... The trading volume are not are not the same, so so it means we need to have idea of the size of the token, the volatility of the token before putting our stop loss. But you know you are the one checking the charts and you drop it the signal. So instead of just uh, trading the signal randomly, maybe it's uh, better we just make few recharts about the token to know the very volatile one, so that we know where to put our stop loss. <laughs> Anyways, I, I I I won't lie to you guys. See, some of this signal is not as if I will start going to look look at maybe go to coin market cap and look at yeah, market yeah. cap and look at this is I'm just straight. And then some of those trades, some of those trades, it has hit a lot of people's stop loss, but I'm still holding to those trades with the hope that maybe eventually it will you know and all of that. So, so this all depends on you, okay? It all depends on you. If you cannot, uh, if you know you cannot hold some of this trade. You can take one or two, and it doesn't stop you anything. My own is, the reason why we are here, okay, is that if you look at the trade at a glance, okay, at a glance, you should be able to say, okay, this particular token is currently struggling at a resistance, so, okay. or maybe it's breaking out of this resistance or support level. Then I should be able to enter that trade, okay? The signals, maybe you just wake up, you're just confused, you don't know what else to do and all of that. And then the signal comes. The signal is not the final say. It is just a guide for you. Okay? And my own mentality in trading may not be the same or my account size, okay? Maybe my mentality will be based on my account size and all of that. Or maybe I just want to... And see, it, it cannot be the same, okay? That is when emotions and all of that comes in, Okay? It can't it can be the same. That's how we talk about trading psychology and the rest. It is not left for you when a signal comes to decide what you want to do with it. Should I take all this trade? If I take all this trade and all of them hit my stop loss, how much am I ready to lose here? How much am I ready to risk? And all of that. So why not take advantage of it? And, you know, and moreover, um, Ogaefe, if the ones I sent on the general group, you are struggling with it, okay? Pay attention to the other ones that have stop losses and the rest, right? I take our time to do those ones so that those of you there can equally enjoy, you know, taking the trades. For instance, if you did WLD, if you did Shiba, Shiba Inu and all of that, Shiba. I saw those of you who took the trade equally in profit. So why not just pay attention to that? Okay. Yeah, the, the, the general group one, if you want, if you must take it, risk what you can afford to lose. Oh, yeah. Risk what afford to lose that's basically what i have to tell you but on this other group i give you um stop losses and all of that i think that's basically what i would say i'm using as a cash for you know those who may want to belong to to you know the close group and stuff like that so yeah risk what you can afford to lose that's all that's basically the portrait
Okay, guys. Um, any other question? Any other contribution? Even though we'll call it a day. I hope you've learned something. Thank you so much for your time. And um, yeah, I'll see this. This thing is already going to full TP. Yes, sir, yeah. Okay, okay, so about this, uh, this drum piece, I sent you the UID, but uh, I didn't hear from. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I actually, I was supposed to contact you. I forgot. I think I was. I typed it already to send to you. So I forgot and erased. Okay. So for the jump X, uh, what I actually said is uh, just uh, I think I mentioned that a KYC is automated. Okay, KYC is automated, but you can use it without KYC. All right, you can use it without okay. KYC. But if you want to do the copy trading, as I mentioned, if you want to become a master trader here, you need to do that KYC. I don't know why you're having issues. Somebody I onboarded somebody today, and um, you know. Uh, he got his KYC done just one hand, and immediately he got funded and all of that. I, okay, I so this guy, this guy, guy right here, another phone. I will try to use yeah, another okay. phone. exactly use another phone and let me know if you succeed in that. This guy here, I know when he started. Okay, you can see that he already had 13, 13, uh, 13 followers. Okay. So 13 followers and all of that. It's already trading. You can see the guy's statistics. It's very nice. Guys, if you want to copy his trade, okay, you can go copy him. You can check out his uh, position, okay? Uh, he currently has a lot of position open for... These are the trades he's currently running, and they are all in profit. You can check out his copy. As the 13 people who are copying him, some of them have made 15 27 $5, $15, $15, and all of that, Okay. Yeah, so depending, uh, you can start with a minimum of hundred dollars. You can come in here and copy, copy his trade. There are other traders here too that you can equally copy. There are other traders here too that you can equally copy. Those, those of you on the platform, I don't know what you're doing. I think I saw Leon somewhere around was page two or page three. Um, I saw he was doing very well. He flipped that account to you know in two days he was already up by almost a thousand plus or so. So uh, maybe it's no longer here, but you can come in here and copy some traders and the rest. So try another phone. If the thing goes through, or you can even use your laptop or so, get the account verified and just let me know and, you know, you are good. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much. For time. It's all right. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I do appreciate. I'll see you guys um, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue. Uh, do have a wonderful night rest and you know always use stop losses guys always use stop losses finally guys get ready get ready october could be you know maybe a very bush market for us all uh october november it, in fact if you don't make money this october november december then you go you need to go home and go and ask just like um what's this guy's name this active name that did uh, an ad for in drive the one that, you know, was trending everywhere, where he has to call his uncle. Ah, that Roy Royce, the, the, that this Roy Royce is not me, oh. And if the uncle say no, <laughs> that my our family doesn't have uh, any business to do with, uh, uh, you know, all this kind of luxury cars and the rest. So maybe if you don't make money between this, this last quarter of the year, guys, go and ask your village people why. Is you it by time you I, I wish you whether you are buying, whether, so whether you are buying, yes, whether you are buying, whether you are holding, whether you you are trading, and all of that. In this month, the last quarter of this year should be favorable. That's basically, it should be favorable. Okay, and um, I may already made a list of meme coins that I was buying. I just keep just that at times I don't have the money, but you know, every week I make sure that I put in ten bucks into those meme coins. I want to see how far it can go. Okay, guys, this thing actually hit full TP if you have entered a trade from here. Okay, almost there. But we're expecting to pick a trade here. I forgot this trend line that, you know, that bounce was strong. But yeah, it is what it is, guys. I'm looking for short from this other area down. Let me see if I'll be able to make something out of this before, you know, the end of today. So we'll do another 1% up there and see if we can push it down this way. Okay, we'll do another percent up there. Let's set a limit order for that so that once this one hits, I'll see if it triggers and then take it down. Okay, thank you so much for your time, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, yeah, that's for TP if you have entered a trade from here, anyways. Okay, so let me just set a limit order to short it from there. 
and um join me okay uh, uh 12 utc or whatever will be will be my own the 1 p.m that's when i'll be doing the live trade for hamster combat so make sure that you're online and join us and let's see what we can achieve and once again guys don't forget okay go register for the buy beat uh, 2000 hamster combat token take advantage of it use your your wife's uh, details use your brother's details use your friend's details you know use anybody close to your details Sign off and I can make a deposit and claim the 2,000 tokens for yourself. It is your choice if you want to. Okay, it is your choice if you want to. And then that day, BVN is enough, okay? Uh, and then if you're using somebody's, make sure you're using the person's um, picture too. The person should be the one doing the the, the, the selfie. Just like one of you said, uh, he's using three of his friends and he will make the deposit at the end of the day, whatever comes out of it. Once they claim the 2,000 tokens, whatever comes out of it, that's, they will share it among themselves, okay, mm -hmm. and all of that. So you can equally take advantage of that. There are a whole lot of persons out there who don't have Bybit account. So if you want to take advantage of it, but if not, the choice is yours. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye and good night.